And there's, there's a real difference, isn't there, when push comes to shove, when you're called to to protect something which is your own, uh, or in this case, fighting over essentially, you know, stolen, stole someone else's stolen assets. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Ukrainians are literally defending their homeland. Mm. And the vast majority of Russian soldiers who have been deployed into Ukraine um, are from ethnic regions well outside of Moscow. Um, this is a traditional method of the uh, the old Russian Empire is to use all of your colonials to do uh, to to bear the brunt of the fighting. And and most of the casualties of the 55, 56,000, however many killed don't come from Moscow mm. or St. Petersburg, which is a way to shield the elites from uh, having to deal with the reality of what's going on. Now, um, I think that the uh, will of the Ukrainian people, I, I was not surprised the Ukrainian soldiers would do well. We, we were working with them starting in 2015 uh, at a, uh, as were UK and Canada to help train Ukrainian soldiers. And, and I remember my sergeant saying, wow, these guys are really, really good mm. at experience, very tech savvy. What I did not anticipate was how the Ukrainian people uh, would respond and would come together. There was a wonderful, uh, Thing on Twitter the other day, it said, uh, on 24 February, Ukrainians were Googling how to make Molotov cocktail. On 21 September, Russians were Googling for flights out of Russia. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, it captures it quite well.